Are we there? Are we there? Pepper, okay. We're here. I was just trying to be helpful. You're helpful. I still have my glasses on. Hi, everybody. Oh, news flash. Do, 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 do. I got Misty to start wearing a glasses necklace. Yeah, I should have brought it in here. I'm still not real comfortable with it. I feel like I've got too much going on here. But it sure did come in handy that day because I'm out of contacts for my left eye. Well, I've got my dailies. <laughs> and your you contact where you understand what I'm saying. When you got your monthlies and your dailies. And I guess you can't put the right eye in the left eye. Well, no, because my left eye is stronger. So I wear more left eyes because I feel like I need to see more. And so I'm out of lefties. Don't you feel unbalanced if you, um, like, have one contact in and one contact not? No, I have them both in. I just have two strong ones in versus a stronger one and a weaker one. Because some days, and if I know I'm going to be working at the computer a whole lot, I need the stronger ones. Okay. But that means I can't see from a distance. Anyway, it ain't about my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so happy. <gasps> Maxine came home from shopping just for this. Oh, I hope you're not missing a good sale. But the good sales haven't started yet. Once we start getting closer to Black Friday. I just don't know if I have the, I can't do it. I'm going to have to just take advantage of the online stuff because I can't fight these people. Well, but you know what is so great is now like um, Cyber Monday. It used to just be Monday. Now like they, they'll do early Cyber Monday on Sunday and then they'll extend Cyber Monday to like Tuesday or Wednesday. Some companies. So you, well, you got to watch. Well, they just want you to spend more money. <coughs> Maxine, uh, speaking of Maxine, your order's going to go out today. We literally just opened it. Mm -hmm. Anybody that's waiting on anything from Raquel Welch, I will tell you, I don't know what happened, but the whole place, like, shut down. They didn't have phones. They didn't have internet. Um, it eliminated their ability to work in the warehouse. They had email. They had internet, Kim. They had internet. Sorry. They had internet. Um, <laughs> if that happened to us, I mean, <laughs> we would figure out a way to sell wigs, Their whether we had phones or internet. And phone system, but they had internet. But we all got phones, <laughs> and uh, yeah. At, anyway. in, that is the line. At any rate, um, they're... We got our first box today, which was supposed to be here a week ago. And so I think those orders are about to start coming through uh, on the Adrian's. I mean, these new styles. That, that zeal. It's the zeal, y'all. It's. I mean, I they're to dribbling wear it again today, in. But they are. And we got. We got four a few days ago of the melted cinnamons. We're about to get four more. Don't get too excited because we had like 24 of you waiting on it, of just that one color. So, um, four more lucky women are going to be uh, But happy. once you, I mean, that wig is popping. It, it is, is so, so pretty. Cute. Yeah. Hey, Ellen from Gigi's Wig Wall. She came um, up from Florida to visit us. You oh, I met her. Here. Oh, yeah, you were here? Yeah. I, oh, I, I was not feeling well that day, um, but I did come in. When you were just finishing with her. No, that's not, the, you weren't here that day. That was. It was a Friday. I know, I was not, I was thinking it was some, another lady. Maybe I'm thinking of some, I, I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It was good to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good to meet you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Speaking of meeting somebody, let me show you all this picture. This is a little bit of the latest goings on. Oh, Is no. Is that the proper grammar? The goings on. Can, can we show or that? Or the going ons. Goings on. Yeah, you had just left because you came in when I was helping somebody else from out of town. Oh, Not, okay. Yeah. Okay, I was thinking that was the case, but anyway. Okay, so we had birthdays, we had friend groups, and we had fresh walnuts. We do. And we, uh, Holly Rogers came in yesterday, and she brought me that beautiful birthday cake, and she brought me a whole bag of goodies. And they're all dog related. I went home last night and then she gave me a bag of birthday cake flavored dog treats. And I had to have a talk with Tommy to explain to her who Holly was and how generous it was that she was getting birthday cake bites and 
And it wasn't her birthday, but it was yours. But the thing is, if I'm holding the treat, she sat there patiently and listened to me because she knows she's about to get it. So even Tommy said, thank you, Holly. Yes, Holly's the sweetest. She wants to know if you tried one. That's what I was saying yesterday. I didn't want to come out and say you could probably eat it, but I'm like, you they're can. probably really good. The pumpkin ones, I mean, they smell like good com- pumpkin cookies, but I didn't try one. But we talked about yesterday. I'm I like, mean, I always want to try one. I always they- think that some dogs eat better than I do. I mean, let me just say what I had last night for dinner was a dollar twenty-seven frozen pizza from Walmart. So that was probably... <laughs> that sounds really sad, but I don't mind it. I mean... Yes, Melissa, my dog's name is Tommy with an I. It's a girl. Is it T-A-M-I or T-O-M-I? T-O-M-M-I. M-M-I. When I got her, her name was Tomasa, and I thought that was too hard to say, but I didn't. But she was used to being called that, so I wanted to name her something similar, so I just called her Tommy because I think that's easier. And it's cute, too. I had an aunt named Tommy. that She was my favorite aunt. Yeah. Tommy Dale was her name. Oh, hello, everybody. everybody. Yes, everybody on Instagram, everybody and, on. Okay, and can you go back to that picture? Yeah. Okay. If you're not wondering Mary, what I'm talking about, if you're on Instagram and on uh, TikTok, I, we flash some things up on Facebook and on um, YouTube that you can't see. Oh, this didn't layer right. Yeah. Can't and there's Deb it. Cotton, and the Yaya Sisterhood came, mm-hmm. and I missed that. But we had lots of out of towners, and I'm sorry we didn't get pictures of it. I mean, sometimes people will say, "Oh, let's take a picture," and sometimes we don't, and or they don't. So Mary Nothing. came here from California with her son, Brandon. They have a, Brandon. They have a wal- walnut farm, and I got this big box yesterday. And I'm like, this is heavy. I can't imagine what's in there because weights are light. We opened that. She sent us so many walnuts. I'm so grateful. And I, that, I was so excited. I was like. They I, are big and beautiful and meaty and the color. I mean, it's just like the most perfect walnuts ever. It, you can't buy them I like that. I that bag and had me one immediately. The same way I had an immediate piece of that chocolate when we got it. Oh, yeah. I'm, we're still working on that. Chocolate. Yeah. That, that chocolate. Anyway, thank you, everybody. Thank you for thinking of us. We appreciate it. But we also wanted to give a big, big, big birthday wish to Holly. No. Uh, uh, Connie Holly. Sorry. Don't say last name. Oh, sorry. You know who you are? We try not to say last name. It's just for privacy's sake. <laughs> but it doesn't matter if you're on Facebook. You all know each other. But this goes out to a lot of different places. But yeah, we love you, Connie. We and love you, Connie. Connie's been around a long time. She can She comes up from Houston, and um, we like to see her when she comes. She's a, a real sweet, sweet. The first sweet, time she sweet. came, she kind of got the bait and switch, though, because Misty ripped her toenail off, so she got stuck with me. But she made the appointment with Misty, and I'm like, I'm sorry, but mm-hmm. I'm all you got today. So yeah. Well, she obviously loved you. She came back. She did come back. Anyway. All right. What are we doing today? What are we talking about? Talk did you tell me to not to talk so much? I, d- I didn't say <laughs> don't talk so much. I said we need to concentrate on condensing okay. our broadcasts because was it last week we were like 50-something minutes? Oh, yeah. I was just and having a good old time. great if we had nothing else to do. Yeah. But we got people that are going to be out there waiting on us at 1 o'clock. And, yep. you know. All right. What do you have on? I have on Onda. Speaking of Holly, when she came in yesterday, I had been working on one of her Ondas, and I just thought, I want to try. And since this this broadcast is about Ellen Villa. I love Onda, and I think that, I think he gets overlooked. Isn't this cute? Onda. Is that um, tobacco-rooted? Toffee brown. Toffee brown. Shaded. Okay. Rooted something. Toffee brown something. I don't know. It's in the description on YouTube. So. And I've got Flirt mm-hmm. on in Pearl Rooted, which is, it's a different color. It's actually kind of gray. And um, even in the back, you can tell there's a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, but it's Pearl Rooted. Super cute. All right. So we uh, are going to show you the new, new collection. Yeah. There's the four new styles, but one comes in average cap. And, well, I think they call it petite average. And then they also make it in... Um, Large. Large cap. Okay, Glenda wants to know if Ellen Villa has pearl without the root. Oh, I wish they did, but they don't. Any of their, they do make a 
few unrooted blondes. They tend to go more on the gold side. They're not as, a, as cool toned, um, but they do make some things unrooted, but not very many. Yeah. Lynn says, if we have a client at one, you still have 15 minutes. <laughs> But any, I could spend the next 15 minutes talking about everything else we got to do. Anyway, you're right, technically. Okay, so let's let's go through these. This first one is probably the longest one we got. I, I don't, I mean, I, oh, I was going to say, do you have the dimensions? Yeah. 19.25. That's pretty long. That's The nape is 19.25 inches. It weighs 6.4 ounces. That's pretty heavy. Yeah, that is I don't know heavy. if somebody is actually, I mean, some people want something that long. I've never had a wig that long. The, you know, Tony Beverly used to make one called Zen. I don't know how long that was, but this is heat-friendly, um, synthetic, petite average cap. You can read if you're on YouTube and Facebook all of the just description of all of the technical stuff up there right now. If you're not, you can go over there and see all that. Or you can see it on our um, website, shopmimistallis.com. Okay, so this has Misty's favorite little mini lace, and it's got a monofilament crown. That's sarcastic, if y'all didn't catch that. Let's we see, all they, they might have, you know, improved it. Well, it does look like it's deeper. <laughs> It's not even going to fit in the whole camera shot. I mean, that's my arm is extended all the way. Let me move my chair. I'll stand up. That's how long it is. The cap's comfortable, as with most Ellen Villa, I find they're. Yeah, the cap is comfortable. So this has a side sweat thing. So that's where. I mean, I think this mini lace is better. Yeah. It's a little bit longer, and they went, they V'd it, so it's a little bit deeper as well. Because it's always this right here on the mini lace that it, there's a separation sometimes. This doesn't look like it's separating too bad. No. Crazy long. And straight. You know, yeah. sometimes people want straight, and it's hard to find. I had a lady yesterday that wanted straight, and... We got it done, but. And it's low density. It is low okay. density. It's heat defiant. So, um, you know, I love Ellen Villa heat defiant. It doesn't wear as fast as the others. But, you know, this is going to require, this is going to require maintenance. I mean, just given the length and how straight it is, once it starts to fray, you're really going to want to stay on top of it with a flat iron. Yeah, easy maintenance though, if you're going to do heat defiant, because like it's since it's so straight, pulling a flat iron right through that will just give you that sleekness right back. All right, let's switch. <clears throat> it doesn't feel like six ounces to me. When it's on it, I can tell it's a little heavier, but when I'm just holding it, I don't. The only way I know how to measure six ounces is in a steak. <laughs> Yeah, but you're right. It doesn't feel all that heavy. It doesn't, I mean, since it's low density, it's not like super heavy up in here. And in one of the pictures on their website, they have this pretty blonde on and they have it braided to the side. I have a client coming in on Friday and she likes to do she a would, side braid. She doesn't like mm -hmm. roots though. I know oh, that's true. But boy, she could make a pretty braid out of that. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can talk her into her rate. It'd be beautiful on her. Four ducks is straight is so flattering on you, but I've always wanted straight hair. When I was young, my hair was straight like this. And then as I got older, it just got frizzier and curlier and I cannot get it straight to save my life. Me too. Just think when you get as old as me. Oh, Maxine pointed out the best thing. She's like, it's a good posing wig, not a living wig. Oh, yeah. That's a good way to put it. This is like you want to pose on Instagram or <laughs> TikTok. What's that pose? You got to get the camera up here. Uh, I, I don't even know how to do that kind of stuff. 
<sighs> okay. What's next? You know, price point on this is not bad for it to be so long and heat defiant, but since it has the, uh, I'm not, okay. Oh, I did something wrong? Well, no, I just was, okay, okay, let's see. Next one. <laughs> Sing. This is um, a cute bob. Okay. It's actually, it's a it's not a bad bob at all. I mean, it's but just for product weight comparison, this is two point six ounces, so it's like a third, yeah. not quite a third, but less than the last one. And this has a center part with a monofilament top. I mean, a center part with a lace front. This was so cute on Holly Rogers. <laughs> you know what? I need to be fired. I'm just, I just don't like to say, I know I do. I know. I'm just so. I just don't like to say last night. I thing. know. I'm sorry, Holly. It was cute. And it, cause she texted me about it last week, and we talked about it. And I even texted her back and said, I think that's just too flat. And blah, even blah, when you blah. pulled it out of the box before she got here, we're like, she's not going to like that. Like that. And she put that on. You put that on. You know who I'm talking to. And this we all know now. is so cute on her. She had that purple oh, suit on. Oh, she had. She looked stunning. Oh Absolutely my gosh. stunning in this purple, and her makeup was perfect. It's too bad she just had to go to work. She just needed to go show people what she looked like. I know. I just we we have taught. We even mentioned it this morning. How you got purple shoes to match your outfit? So perfect. You know, back in the day when you used to have your shoes dyed. Do they still do that? Uh, yeah, well, you do it like for weddings and stuff. Yeah, if you, you dye wanna... your shoes. That's how perfect it was. Okay. This is cute. And if you have a short forehead, look, y'all. I, I don't. I wouldn't even have to cut this. But if you have a super super long forehead, you might have a problem with these being long enough. Cute. I, don't, I mean, they they were good for me. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't have super long. But you can always. I All right. Love this platinum blonde rated. I will remember that. I know you said that, but <clears throat> This is heat defiant too. Their heat Defiant temperature is 260 Fahrenheit. Some companies Damn. go way up above that. So um, don't get this mixed up with another company that you'll get that you can go up more. So we the, didn't show the back. No, we didn't. And um, I wouldn't have to have these bangs trimmed. I, but they're like long enough to be past my eyebrow. Mm-hmm. But you cannot change the part. You have to be okay with the center part. Yeah. Okay. But you can sweep like the front part of the bangs if you want to sweep that over a little bit. It just, that's not how it's made. It's made to be a full bang. Mm-hmm. It's cute. I like this more than I thought I would. More than I thought I would. Wow. Um, let me see. I think this is probably, this is the most pricey one out of all of them. Oh, it is? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure why, but it is. Hmm. All right. Now, this is the shortest one. This is called Relax. This is the one that comes in two different um, cap sizes. Y'all, I, I apologize if you're on Facebook. There's some inappropriate comments coming in. We can't block them from here. So um, maybe if one of our admins can do that for us, if, if you can, I'm not sure. Um, this is kind of if you are a voltage wearer or, you know, I don't know. What do you compare this to? It's a combo. It's a combo. This is super lightweight, 2.3 ounces. Again, heat-friendly synthetic wigs. Um, up to 260. Lace front only. Wefted everywhere else. So this is cute. Um, it's got a mono crown. 
little moon shape. Which I don't understand why anybody has a monocrayon. But that's okay. I don't have to understand it. This is kind of almost like a voltage sparkle. You know what I like about it? I like how long the bang is. This looks... Um, Gosh, this is cute. Yellow on film. It's yellow in person, too. It's gold. It's got a gold undertone. Just going to be honest, I, um, I uh, Gigi's cute. looks like Link and, Ray, and Ray's had a baby. This is cute. Ooh, look at that, le that neckline fringe is so cute. It is cute. And I will say the good thing about um, Ellen Villa and their heat defiant in these shorter wigs is you can get really good texture without having to work so much. I yeah. mean, sometimes in the regular fiber, you have to really do a whole lot, a whole lot of product to get that. But this being so lightweight and the density not being too much, you could you could kind of smooth this down if you wanted in the front. But this is kind of this style's coming back. I mean, which collection did we just do? I feel like last week or the week before, they had a, a style like this. Oh, it's the the Noor from yeah, Enrico. Yeah, the Noor. I think you could f do that same thing where you could kind of pull this down in the front, tuck one side back. I mean, it's it's just super cute. Cute, cute, cute. Well, you've got... You know what it looked like when you had it like that? What? Almost almost like Gia from Renee Paris. Oh, with a grown out back. Yeah. yeah. I'm into gold blondes right now. I just am. With the right color clothes and makeup. And I really like a style like this that's, uh, when you pull it tighter even on the sides and then get this all big back here. This is cute. You know who might like this? Connie. Connie, you might I'm like not, this. I'm not saying any more names. I'm not saying, I'm not going to say her last name, but we got so many. Thank you, Lynn. same name. This, this is cute. Okay, size-wise, it's comfortable Yeah. for it to be average. Yeah, I mean, some of hers have more stretch, but I can definitely get more stretch out of the back if I needed to. Is it coming down on the side for you? Um... Not right there, which is pretty good for me. Mm -hmm. Normally, <clears throat> most stuff doesn't come down that far on me. So I think unless you're a true, true large cap, you would could do an average, right? Yeah. For anyone. All right, so I'm going to flash this technical up here. It's the same exact thing, only um, it's the same thing. <laughs> it's the, the same um, everything only it's large cap, but it had different pictures, so I just wanted to show that different pictures. Now, the, the large cap and the average don't come in the same color combos. <laughs> so the large cap doesn't come in near as many colors. Okay, and I'm just gonna say this metallic blonde rooted, I don't see anything in it that says blonde numerically or visually. I mean, Maybe. The 101 is the only one that has a little bit of a... There's a little bit here that may be blonde, but this is basically gray, which it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just want you um, to know. Ooh, you know what this color reminds me of? Huh. The 12S28. Oh, yeah. From Tony of Beverly. Okay, size-wise, definitely, I can tell this is a large cap. Can you? Mm -hmm. Can you please open that door? Yeah. Carrie Lee. Can you please block some of these pop ears on Facebook? Facebook? Yeah, I'm blocking. I'm yeah. probably signed in on my computer. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. We're trying to take care of the situation, which we hardly ever have. Yeah, um, because... But, and we used to could take care of it from in here, but we can't anymore. 
All right, this is a pretty color. It's got some nice highlighter on the face. Look at that. That is. And that's tobacco rooted. Yeah. The next two wigs we're going to show are in tobacco rooted, but you can see they're pretty pretty close. Yeah. But not really. But they're 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 still different. Still cute. It is cute. Okay, let's switch. But definitely don't get a large cap unless you're a true large cap. Yeah. Because you'll find it's too big. Oh, you're right. That is kind of a moon shape. Yeah. At the... The crown. The crown. This one doesn't feel as big as that one did. That's a, it's a real pretty color. Cute style. This would be good for um, wintertime turtlenecks, you know. Well, just and. That playfulness without. And like a holiday party with red. Ooh, or yeah. like a real pretty blue. Of course, black. Mm-hmm. I this is I just kind of want to spend some time playing with it, but we don't have time for that. No. Okay, we got an, one more style. This is called Sound. Here is the technical. Um, it's three inches. What is the night? I mean, three ounces. Oh, okay. I'm so distracted, <laughs> y'all. I'm so sorry if you're on Facebook and you're seeing all this drama that's going on. We've got somebody out there trying to take care of it. Um, if you're on um, TikTok, TikTok or Instagram, then just ignore everything. Okay. This is curly. It's kind of wavy, curly something. I don't know. Mono part, but it only has a mini lace. Which it seems like the mini lace with the mono part doesn't hang weird like the mono part, I mean the mini lace without the mono part. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. And I guess it's it because it, it, it keeps things directionally um, in a place where... And it I think, I mean, I know our rep's on here somewhere, but I think that they have improved the mini lace since they first introduced it with the, um, the, the anima. I mean, because that first, that first wave, it's, it, it was, it was trainable, but I mean, the idea is to take a wig out of the box and not have to put so much effort into it. So I think that the feedback they got from that, they've improved it. Well, and I gotta say... Ooh, I the, love this color. The girls in America working for Ellen Bill are getting them to come out with these large caps. So Look at that we are volume. excited about that. Look at that volume. Of course, I just have to be thinking that. That is some voluminous hair. Yeah, it is. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Why, now, do didn't, I, why do I love this? Didn't we let um, our friend Holly try this on yesterday? Uh-huh, in that color. Yeah. Why do I love this? Why? Tell me why I love it. That's this. your style. Why do I love this? Big, bold, wow. and messy. Wow. Wow. I didn't think I was going to like it because I don't know why, but I like it. Well, yeah. I like the, the these big, big kind of hot, roll, hot rollery. I'm making up words left and right today. Somebody get out the Webster's. <laughs> Call them and tell them. Misty's on a roll. But, yeah, I like these big hot roller really, really curls, especially for the holidays, because it looks a little bit more glam to me. Yeah, it does. It's very glam. Um, there, someone's asking about the fit. I think it fits great. Yeah, I like this. Um, Pamela is asking if the tobacco is a reddish color. It's definitely warm. Um, it's got a 27 in it, which is a red. So there are some red highlights running through it. But when I look at it, it's, I wouldn't yeah. call it red. I wouldn't say it's a red wig. 
I would still put this in the brunette family, but with warm highlights. Yeah. You know, I mean, I would still, because I'm I would call I'm it caramel. Brunette. If I had to cut, if I could only come up with one word, I would say caramel. I mean, that one curl going the opposite direction it just kills me. But that's, you know, something you got to deal with. Well, you shouldn't have um, to. Martha's okay. asking about a large head. I mean, I could wear this all day long and be perfectly comfortable. It depends on how large your head is. Um, I'm 22 and a half, Misty's 22 and three quarters, or did I get that wrong? No, that's right. Okay. Um, and I think, I think it's very comfortable. I think they're making their caps bigger, which I have a client that's been buying Ellen Villa flight attendant, international flight attendant. She's been buying Ellen Villa for years, way before they ever launched into the U.S. And um, so she's not happy they're making the caps a little bigger. But for the for everybody else, everybody's excited about it. Yeah, and I don't even necessarily know that they're making them bigger. They're just stretchier. Yeah. You know, it, it's like they're magic. I say this all the time. If you have a petite head, they generally fit. If you have a large head, they generally fit because they stretch. So it's like a good pair of leggings. Well, Maxine says it looks like two different weights. Look at that hair. <laughs> I tell people all the time when I'm showing them how to put their hair up under a whip, I'm like, it does not have to look good. Nobody's going to see it. You're going to cover it up. Well, in my case, look at that. Okay, let's see if this one looks the same. I think they look the same. Oh, yeah, I do too. And I, with a little product. I don't think they look like the same wig when we have them, like, I'm not articulating this right. They look different on us. You know, like, this didn't look the same on you as it looks Which on me. Which it regularly doesn't, but even looking at them together, like, that looks like it's got more volume than when you had it on, and this looks like it's got less volume than when you had it on. I don't know. Jo I, Joan is asking how we would describe light champagne rooted. It's, it's just, it literally is champagne, okay. platinum E. If you, I'm going to have to just go on my little soapbox for one minute. The thing about Ellen Villa, you cannot look at the word descriptions. You have to look at the numbers because... Champagne rooted is different for every company, but it's different within Ellen Villa. So they'll call it light champagne rooted. Pay attention to the numbers. So if you have an Ellen Villa wig and you absolutely love it and you want to get another one, look at the numbers and compare. And that's your best option if you're trying to get close because especially if you're sensitive to red or gold or it being too ashy, that's going to really help guide you. And I feel like that even at that point, and I know that they're on here watching us, so they're probably going to say, oh, you're so wrong. But I feel like even at that point, like if even if it does have even two of the three numbers the same, it may be t totally shaded differently. So you're still kind of not probably going to get the same exact thing, but it's in the same family. But I always go back to this. I did hair in a salon a long time before I came here, and even I was meticulous, and I've said it and said it, about my records, measurements on that, and trying to foil the same pieces and the same client, you know, after... You can't get it exactly the same. So don't get so hung up on this This looks so different than the other style I'm wearing because that's hair. My hair is never the same when I come out of the salon. Um, and What is one of my favorite things? It's organic. It's just, organic. Just let yeah. it be. And Georgia, Georgia from Ellen Villa does agree. Georgia is hard to wrap But this love. is pretty. Yeah. You also need to look at the order of the numbers because the order of the numbers um, – It'll, prominent. it'll be mixed the same. So it, if the if it's the same numbers, but they're in a different order, then you can count on the color being mixed differently. It's technically all the same colors, but just mixed them differently. I like it. I, like it. I do too. And look, this has like a bang. Did, I, I didn't, didn't notice. I, I mean, I'm sure it's there, but this one is kind of, you can redirect well, it. So, what's great about that is it's there if you want it, but shoot, if you don't want it, you just... I don't want it. I want this. I love this about a curl. 
Okay, Georgia's just posted a link on Facebook that um, it's a color philosophy blog by Ellen Villa. Yes, so if you go to, um, I'll actually, if you'll email me that link, Georgia, I'll make a post about it and put it on our social media so everybody can kind of see. Because I mean, I'm interested to see that too. I don't know that. Yeah, I, mean, I know me we too. talked about it, but I'd like to see what they have to say about that. Um, this is great. So these are the four styles. Yeah, they did good. I like them. Yeah. I mean, I will say this time, the only one that I feel is is like something that we've had before is the relax. So, but I don't know that they've had anything. But that's better than what we had. Friendly. Oh yeah. I mean, the sky's kind of like that. There's, I mean, but um. The Citamano. Because I know I've said it before. It's like I feel like they're just taking the same style and, re- and renaming it. But this time, there's some different ones. Yeah. Well, my time here is done. My work here is finished. Well, good. I'm looking for sweetness. It's time for um, your favorite, your favorite person to come. I'll see y'all oh, next week. Marsha's everybody's favorite person. Yeah, she's the sweetest. People will come and come. She just they'll call the, and go. She just has the sweetest voice. Is this Marsha? Bye, y'all. Have a great week. Oh, um, yeah. Thank you, Lynn, for posting that. Yes, Kimber, it is your Marsha. Your very one. What, what? Kimber, want, I said we're getting the, I said I need to get sweetness in here. I know, right? And You Kim- look so short. I'm so tall. I'm Are big, you're little. <laughs> okay, guys. Don't you know what time it is. <laughs> Don't even get me started on that. <laughs> okay. How did that happen? I don't know. What okay. happened? I, I, I'm being what, your little. What happened was, <laughs> I don't know. And the week booty. All hey, right, Sarah. so you got a sale worked up for okay, us today. Okay, guys, you know what time it is. It's time for the sale of the week. What's it going to be? Well, I believe it's 35% off everything. And the code is Vets Day Sale. So everything is, um, what about the exclusives? No, it will not. Everything will, but the exclusives. Yeah, it will not include the exclusives. Um, it'll run through Sunday night, 11.59. Yep. Um, Central what, time. Central Standard Time. Mm-hmm. And it's, yeah, everything but this. Uh, At this everything exclusives. but the exclusives. Yeah, not the exclusives. So, No. Not the exclusive. Anyway, y'all have fun. Have yep. a wonderful weekend. Have a great. Please celebrate a veteran somewhere. Yeah. Um, we're very grateful for what they have done and the path that they have made for us to live such a nice and easy life. Yeah. So, we're thankful. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank see, you. See you next week. Bye. Bye.